Welcome to a brand new episode of the Merch Show. What a night, huh? It is Zach Rant's night. I don't even know if it should be called the Merch Show tonight or if it should be called the Zach Show. An interview that I'm definitely excited about. Um, certainly the interview that I wanted to do the most during the season of Big Brother 16. Um, I know we have a lot of questions coming in. I mean, I had a lot of people saying they wanted to talk a lot about Zanke. I had a lot of people saying, no, 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 let's talk about, you know, strategy in the game. Um, kind of kind of what I expected for uh, somebody that's as popular as Zach is. So I'm going to do my best, uh, and that's pretty much all I can do to try and uh, address everything that everybody wants. Uh, and hopefully we will have the most memorable merch show of all time. Uh, I think... <laughs> I think judging by how many of you are here, we're already uh, reaching that category. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's get Zach on here. Oh! <laughs> oh, Mertz! How you doing, boss man? What's it going? Do you have do you have Mertz glasses? Hey, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best Mertz Chapter impression. Did I nail it or did I nail it? Gosh, Zach, I can't believe, I can't believe you're here. I mean, the, the number, okay, the number of people that I went through to get this interview, I mean, I talked to pretty much anybody who's ever been associated with you, okay? I was just, hey, hey, did you, like, see Zach when he was, like, buying milk at the grocery store? Yeah, tell him he had, he's got to do the merch show. Um, yeah. So it, it, it was a long recruitment process. Okay, okay. Well, hey, I got to tell you, Mertz, I'm happy to be here, happy to be interviewed, by one of the greats, let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, first, first, let me just, I, I did promise that I was going to thank, um, who was the one on Twitter that messaged you? I should have had it, like, handy. Um, somebody messaged you, right, to do the merch show? I, I, I know she oh, told yeah, me that yeah. I forgot uh, to say it. I don't know. I have so many, I have no idea. I couldn't even. I got it right here. I got it right here. Okay, it's Andy Send. So that's A-N-D-I-C-E-N-D. -E -E thank you so much. You were very helpful in making this happen. There's your shout out. All right. Very thankful. <laughs> All right, Zach. Let's let's get right into it. So I want to start. I want to start with why Big Brother. I mean, you obviously have a very big enigmatic personality. Were you always a fan of the show? And what about it stood out to you? Have I always been a fan of the show? Yeah. I mean, I've always been a. I've always been like. A, I don't want to call myself a super fan. I watched the show. I you know last season was the first season. I was at home during the summer with my mom. She is obsessed with the show. Uh, she said, yo, Zach, why don't, you, why don't you go on the show? I said, you know what? I think I'll just go on Big Brother. Like, I'll just do it, you know? And, you know, fast forward a year and a half, and uh, I'm here sitting with you today. You know, I think that right off the bat, you know, when the first, when the announcement was made about who the new Big Brother 16 house guests are, and we started seeing those pre-interviews, you stood out right away, not just to me, but I feel like to a lot of alumni um, that all said that there's something about this guy. And specifically, I really, and I know we talked about this in the pre-show, but I really liked your interview with Ryan and Rachel because mm -hmm. you have this ability to sort of like, you know, you can like cut somebody down, but they still like you for it, you know? And, and can you talk a little bit about that? Have you always you been know, like I'm actually, that? I'm actually very glad you brought that up because a lot of people don't understand my personality. I am the most sarcastic motherfucker in the world. Don't take anything I ever say seriously. That's my personality. And going into the house day one, day two, I was extremely sarcastic. And I realized that, yo, these 15 other house guests, they don't know you. You cannot be sarcastic with them. So then eventually when they started to realize, yo, that's funny, he's sarcastic, then I became myself. I might have exaggerated my personality a little bit on the show. But, you know, it, it's me. I mean, I do stand out like a sore thumb in everything I do, um, even on Big Brother, next to Frankie. I mean, so, hey, it is what it is, you know? I can't, I can't even imagine um, what your casting interview was like. Uh, and I, know, I don't want to get into too much detail, but can you give anyone any tips? Because I can't even imagine what you must have told Robin and company. Like, it must have been the funniest interview of all time. I'll tell you what I told Robin and company. After finals casting, I said, Robin, if you don't put me on the show, I said, Robin, you'd be stupid not to put me on the show. If you don't put me on the show, you're the biggest fucking idiot in the fucking world. What did she do? She put me on the show. What happened? It was a great fucking season. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so 
let's let's talk a little bit about this. You know, like initially, I definitely thought that you know you were going to use a little bit of Doctor Will. I thought that the humor was going to be a bit of a front, um, get everybody to love you while you like evict them behind their back. And then as I started to really sort of appreciate what you were doing on the show. I felt like you were playing more to do stuff after the show. So can you talk a little bit about what your game plan was? Was it to win or was it to like become the most popular and, and do stuff after? The last thing I was trying to do was make a career out of this. You know what I mean? I went in mm-hmm. to that game to win. You know, I, I play, I'm playing for 500,000 reasons. That's for the fucking grand prize. You know, I went in the show to fucking win. And every single night before I went to sleep, I was thinking about exactly how I'm going to spend that five hundred thousand dollars. I'm going to Vegas, baby, and I'm spending it all in one week, baby. But no, I, you know, I played to win. I played to win. You know, I didn't, I didn't play, I didn't play to freaking, you know, have a career afterwards. I fucking was playing to win, and you know what? Um, I didn't win, and apparently I was pretty entertaining, and you know, hey, and it is what it is. I keep saying that, but it is what it is. I don't try too hard, and you know. Again, I'm sitting here with you right now, so it must have it must have went pretty well for me. I think I think that in the day and age of like live feeds where like fans can sort of like see everything that you do, it's not like an edited show like so many other reality shows are. You know, Big Brother, we have 24/7 access. People can really sort of separate who's genuine and who's like sort of playing a character. And I think one of the landmark moments for me was when everybody was sort of like hating on Donnie. You seem okay. to befriend him, and I and I felt like it was a very genuine connection that you shared. Can yeah. you talk a little bit about that? Like, did you just like him? Did you not like people picking on him? I mean, who doesn't like Donnie? You want America's favorite? Like, how could you not like Donnie? You know, I felt bad for the guy. He would always say, "Man, I sure know how to clear out a room," or you know, I walk in a room and everyone leaves, or I walk in a I walk in a room, everyone's mid conversation, and it and it gets awkward. So, how can you not that if you have a heart? Anyone with a heart would feel bad for the guy, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and you know, we were, I mean, we were on completely different schedules. I was going to sleep when he was waking up, so I never really saw him in the house. But in the jury house, <laughs> we became tight as fuck. We became boys, best friends, and, you know, I, I still talk to him, you know, a couple times a week since. So, you know, Donnie and I, we were good friends, you know? He liked me. I fucking liked him. He's hilarious as a person. He's fucking hilarious. And he's super nice, you know, and he, he has a lot of, he's, he has a lot of wise knowledge, you know, he's like an owl, you know, he's a wise owl, you know what I mean? You know, I, I really, I really liked um, when you and Devin were in the house together, like that whole feud I thought was, was for me the high point of the show, like just the, your interactions with him never disappointed, I mean, he, he had a pretty over the top personality as well. Um, yeah. Can you talk about the creation of the Mom Squad and Devin? Okay, I'm going to do my best impression of how the Bomb Squad was created. I waltzed my way into the HOH room, you know, talking to Frankie and Caleb. First day I met them, they're the HOHs. You know, want to make a good impression, I want them to like me, yada, yada, yada. I'm sitting there at the table, Devin walks over to me, throws his fist on the table, and says, Alliance, six people, you in or you out? I mean, did I have a fucking choice? Did I have a choice? No. I'll answer that question for you, Mertz. I didn't have a fucking choice. That's basically how it went. Six members turned into eight members. Eight members turned into the population of New York City, 27 million. That turned into the population of India, which is now like 500 billion. So, I mean, the bomb squad had every single person on Earth, you know, in the alliance. Is that even legal? No. But did it happen? Yes. Um, you were, you were the creator of the detonators. Was that simply because you sort of saw that like this bomb squad thing's not going anywhere? And what went into your mindset about the people that you invited to be part of the detonators? So I didn't hear the second part of the question, but I'm going to answer it anyway. We all knew that the bomb squad was falling apart. We all knew the bomb squad was dead before it even was born. Um, the minute Devin added Amber and Christine, for some odd reason, uh, we all knew that shit was going to hit the fan. Uh, I was, you know, I was really close to Frankie. I was really close with Cody and Derek. And I felt like in order to separate ourselves, in order to, you know, it was basically like a contract to me. It was like, okay, we all work together, but there's no written formal agreement that, you know, this is a part, this is a partnership, you know? So I said, all right, let's make this official. Let's fucking make this detonators LLC, make it official and be the last five people in the big brother house. Clearly that was not the case. 
why why was Christine able to ingratiate herself so much? I mean, she was one of the last people to join the bomb squad, and yet she found herself in the detonators. I have no idea. I I, I have no. I mean, she was nice. I mean, isn't everyone nice when they walk in the Big Brother house? But I have. I, it's it's still like I, I have no idea. I couldn't. I can't answer that. I have no idea how Christine got into it. I don't know. I, hey, she kind of just it fell on her lap, and I said to her every time, I said, Christine, you know how lucky you are. Like, do you know how lucky you are? She would always just be like, yeah, I'm so lucky, I'm so lucky, you know, I'm part of the freaking, you know, the, the power side of the house, if you will. I don't know how she got on the power side, but hey, you know, hey, credit to her, props to her, kudos, yada, yada. Respect her gameplay. I think she played a great game. She really did. Christine played a great game. Uh, Christine, if you're watching, I'll talk to you soon. But no, she, she played a great game, and uh, I respect that. Um, but I don't know how she got into the bomb squad. I have no idea. The detonator, she kind of had to be in the detonator. I mean, she was really close with Cody, really close with Frankie. She was close with yeah. me, but, like, not really. But, um, no, I don't know how she ended up uh, woogsing her way into the box squad. I, I, you know, I mean, I, I was always a Zach fan, even from before the season. But the moment that really sort of stood out to me, and I think it stood out for a lot of people that are in here tonight, um, is when you, <laughs> when you put up, Christine and Nicole. I mean, I was sitting there and I was just like, "What? A, what am I watching? This is this is the greatest thing I've ever seen." Like, it just came out of so left field. And your speech was. Can you can you take me back to that moment and what the rationale was? The rationale behind putting them up for the speech. Both. Okay. Let's let's go with the putting them up first. All right. You know what? Like, I didn't have many options. I was not putting up Donnie. I was not putting up Donnie. I wanted Donnie's trust in my back pocket. And if I put up Donnie. There goes that. So I couldn't put up Donnie. If he, if, you know, obviously I had to put him Nicole. The plan was to backdoor Amber. I'm not putting up Amber. Definitely not putting up Caleb. So I really, my choices were really slim. I mean, it was between Nicole, Hayden, Christine, and, and Donnie, basically. Donnie was out of the equation. So it was, all right, I have three people. I have to choose two of them. Um, Nicole, obviously I was putting up because, I mean, you know, looking back, I'm like, why did I put Nicole up? Why didn't Nicole and I just work together? It would have been gravy. But I decided to put up Nicole, and then it was between Hayden and Christine. Clearly, you guys saw Christine was not pulling her weight. She can't win a competition. She does. She's not willing to throw a competition. She, and, and even when we would talk games, she would just sit there and not even, like, bring anything to the table. You know what I mean? It's like, we're all eating dinner here. You know, I made the casserole. Cody made the chicken. Derek brought the filet mignon. You know, Frankie's over here with the Fruit Loops. And Christine brings nothing. And she sits down, she makes herself a fucking plate, and she eats her ass off. You know what I mean? It's kind of fucked up, you know? At least bring the fucking Coca-Cola, bring something, you know? Energy water, vitamin water, five-hour energy. I don't give a fuck what it is. Bring something to the fucking table. And, you know, right. hey, so I was like, you know what? And it was between Hayden and Christine. And Hayden, it was weird. So I, I just made my decision. I said, all right, fine. I'm putting up Hayden and Nicole. And as I say that, I look at the HOH monitor, and Hayden is walking to the HOH room. And I was like, you know what? This is perfect because Hayden's coming in here as I'm about to put him up. No, not going to happen. Hayden's part of the bros. You know, he's part of the fucking team, part of the bro squad. I'm not going to put up Hayden over fucking Fruit Loop Dingus Christine over here looking like a busted fool again, not bringing shit to the dinner table. I was trying to make a fucking point. Christine, you're going on the block. You're going on the fucking block, and that's it. Like, I'm sorry. You didn't want to offer yourself. Now you're actually really on the block, potentially going home. Oh my. Okay. Well then. Okay. So I, I understand sort of like where you were coming from. I mean, I I love the Gen reference. I love the floater reference. But where did the where did the Fruit Loop Dingus come in, and why why did you choose to throw that down to Nicole? All right. Where did Fruit Loop Dingus come from? It came from my fucking brain. That's where it came from. Uh, Fruit Loop Dingus. It rolls off the tongue. You know what I mean? It's fucking. Perfect. It's what we call uh, just beautiful vocabulary, if you will. Um, no, it, it was just kind of like, you know, me and my boys, me and my frat bros in college, we just make words up. You know, you freaking Cheerio, you Fruit Loop Dingus, you, you know. And I was like, hey, I'm, I'm calling her a Fruit Loop Dingus because that is funny. And everyone loved it. And then, you know, eventually it just became a huge thing. And then, you know, 23, 23 days later, I'm walking out of the freaking Big Brother house standing on the tables, littering Fruit Loops every, everywhere, you know? So, hey, it happened. It, it happened. You know? I called her a Fruit right. Loop Dingus. I Is fucking it? did. It was funny because as soon as I called her a Fruit Loop Dingus, the meeting's over, 
and she just starts laughing. She just starts cracking up. I'm like, okay, I, I guess your feelings weren't hurt. <laughs> you know, I guess everything's all good. <laughs> You're laughing. You know, five seconds later, she starts crying. I felt kind of bad. I didn't feel bad at all. It's fucking Big Brother, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking putting her up. Sucks to suck. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Have you have you been watching the show? And can you talk about, like, what your impressions are? Is there anything, like, sort of... I, I feel like you're not a guy that's going to regret anything. But I almost feel like when... I, I just feel like when Zach watches Big Brother again, the only thing you can see is, like, oh, I could have I could have said this, or I could have done something funny here. Um, right. Is that what it's like for you? Oh, I wish I would have said that. No, I don't have a regret in the world. I really don't. I, I wanted to play that game. I wanted to walk out the door with no regrets. And I don't have an ounce of regret in my fucking body. Uh, you know, everything happened the way I wanted it to happen. I mean, I wanted to win the freaking half a mil. And, you know, if Frankie would have just really trusted me and not fucking tried to get me out like a fruit loop fool again, we'd be all gravy. But, you know, it, you know, BB paranoia, it hits you. Frankie, if you're watching, fucking love you. But, you know, he fucking did what he had to do. It was better for his game to send me home over Victoria. Why would he keep Victoria? Like, why would why would he, you know, or no, why, sorry. Why would he send home Victoria? You know, she's worthless. She is worthless. She is, she is valued at under one cent. A penny with Abraham Lincoln's face on it is worth more than Victoria's big brother life. So, I mean, shit. He's going to waste a fucking HOH on fucking Victoria? No, it's better for your game to send me home. Fucking do it. Rip the band-aid off. Let's fucking but, get out of here. Yeah, but 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 doesn't... Okay, so so let's say I go in, you know, let's say I go in with, like, my best friend, okay? And, okay. like, I realize that he's, like, winning everything, and I realize that he's probably going to beat me in front of a jury. Um, does loyalty come into it at all, or should you always be doing what is best for your own individual game? Um, what's best for your own individual game? What, what kind of question is that? You know what I mean? Yeah, be loyal all you want. Did it work for Caleb? Nah. I mean, be lo you know, if, if it's your game to be loyal, then you just have to trust who you're being loyal to. You know what I mean? So, like, and in Big Brother, you can't trust anyone, you know? But like Dan Giesling, one of the great Big Brother greats said, you got to trust one person in this game. There's got to be one person in that house that you trust more than anyone. That person to me was clearly Frankie. And it didn't work out for me. And you know what? Could I have been more loyal? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe you guys have a different opinion. But I was extremely loyal to Frankie. And, you know, I didn't end up fucking... We didn't end up going to the final two. And, you know, that's why I played my game. You know, I didn't, I'm, I'm not the loyal type, dude. I'm going to fucking slit your throat and fucking drink your blood. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how I fucking played the game. Let's let's talk about Frankie. I know a lot of people uh, want to find out your thoughts on him. What was it about him uh, that that struck you right at the beginning? Like, why did you guys connect so quickly? Right. Nothing struck me right at the beginning because the first time I saw him, he was literally like running around dancing. Like, I remember walking into the Big Brother house. He was, I think, he was the third person I saw. First person I laid eyes on was Pow. She was just right there doing some freaking crap walk, being all weird. Frankie, I saw and I said, "Whoa, this guy is." out of his fucking mind. He's out of his mind. And I was just like, all right, like, I mean, you know, we'll see, you know. We ended up talking, yada, yada, yada. He's on Broadway. That's all cool and stuff. And then he starts he starts putting on a show in, in like, his HOA deal. Like, he just starts, like, dancing to Madonna, fucking going crazy, dancing like fucking the best dancer in the world. And my jaw was just like, I was just like, like, oh, my God. This guy is fucking, he's amazing. On top of that, he was hilarious. He wouldn't shut up. I don't shut up. He doesn't shut up. It was it was perfect. It was a match made in heaven, basically. You know, I fucking love him. That he's yeah. hilarious. When I when I realized how funny he was and how smart he was, you know, we had a lot of stuff in common. And you know, it's just like, all right, I'm gonna be friends with this guy. We ended up becoming friends, you know, and then we ended up becoming, you know, you know. But no, it it was it was a lot of fun. I love Frankie to death. You know what I mean? You know, um, when when the split sort of happened and he realized that he you had to go for his own game, okay. I remember, like, your disposition changed, you know, for, for, for a while, for a couple of days. You know, you weren't, like, sort of the fun-loving Zach. You weren't the Fruit Loop dingus Zach. You seemed genuinely hurt. Can you take me back to that moment uh, and just talk about that? Like, what was that like, and how did you and Frankie get past it? When he put me on the block? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that fucking sucked ass. That was the worst. And not only did he put me on the block, he, like, spit some, like, crazy, like, Jay-Z verse on me and was just like, yo, you're a busta, like, you fucking suck at life. And I'm just like, like, really, dude? You're going to spray the ether all over me? Kathy Griffin just zinged me twice in a row, made me look like an ass clown on national television, and then you're going to come at me with this fire's verse ever, spraying ether like Eminem all over the fucking floor? That's fucked up. But, hey, I, it was terrible. It was terrible. It was it, One of the lowest points in the Big Brother house was, you know, being backdoored by Frankie, for sure. But, um, you know, like I said in, in the beginning, it's all gameplay, you know what I mean? Like, he, it was better for his game to send me home. I mean, thinking back on it, I don't think he would have made that decision again, but, you know, it happened. Like, he fucking wanted to put me up on the block. Why was he, I mean, I keep repeating myself, but why would he send Victoria home? You know what I mean? Like, there's no point. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, when, you know, when he arrived at the at the jury house and stuff, like, can you talk about, like, what the reconnection was like? Um, how long did it sort of take for you guys to patch things up? No time at all. I mean, we patched things up before I left the house, you know what I mean? Like, I talked to him, I said, listen, dude, yeah. clearly I'm on the block, you just put me there. Like, that's okay. Like, I had nothing else to say. And, you know, there was a point where we started kind of arguing in the backyard by the pool table. And it got to the point that I was like, all right, we're like three sentences deep into this argument. And this is, this is just not, like, I don't want to argue with you. Like, you put me up on the block, it's better for your game. Give me a fucking, no, give me a fucking hug. You know, I'm going home on Thursday. It's all good. I mean, I, I, I played my best. I have no regrets. I mean, I shouldn't have stole the fucking cue ball like an idiot, like a nincompoop. But, um, no, we patched things up before I left, dude. He, he dressed me. He yeah. gave me his Tom Ford uh, bow tie, so I walked out on the stage fresh, looking at Julie Chen like a boss. You know what I mean? So, you know, we patched things up way before that. Him coming to the jury house was awesome. We, uh, you know, we hung out a lot, played a lot of ping pong, went in the jacuzzi. It was a fun time. You know, um, I, I've seen, you know, I've been around reality uh, since 2000, and Zanke has one of the most devoted fan bases I've, I've ever seen. I'll be honest with you. I mean, when we announced that you were doing this interview, I, love I mean, though. I couldn't believe the amount of, and, and can, can you talk about that? Like, why do you think it struck so many people? Why are there so many people, like, into this Zanke hashtag? I don't know, man. I mean, I, I, I don't even know. Like, we were just... We were best friends. I fucking, clearly you guys saw, I mean, from the feeds, we didn't leave each other's side the whole fucking summer. Uh, I love being around him. You know, he, he made me laugh more times in 63 days than I laughed in my entire life. And I'm always laughing. I'm always laughing, always cracking jokes, always laughing at jokes. Um, but no, he is like, I, I have never laughed so much in my entire life. And on top of that, like I said, dude, he is so fucking smart. And you got to, you know, I love smart people. That's, he, he's fucking intelligent as fuck. Like, I love talking to him. We have great conversations, you know, and it, I just love being around him. You know what I mean? So, I don't even remember what the question was. What was the question? <laughs> no, you got, you answered it. I mean, for, for not hearing it. I mean, no, that was, that was totally what I was asking. I mean, do you, do you think that you guys represented um, something new, especially on, like, network primetime TV? You know, like, in, in reality, anyway, I can't remember a straight guy being so cool with somebody that was gay. Um, and so do you think that's why people connect why, with you guys so much? Why would I care if he's gay? Like, what does that, what does that have to do with anything? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm not being right. rude. I'm just saying, like, that means nothing to me. I don't care if he's gay. Like, what? Right, right. But, but I, guess, I guess my point is, though, and I'm sure you agree with this, is that we haven't really seen that. Like, not only uh, on Big Brother we haven't seen that before, but I haven't really seen that on, on TV before, you know? Um, is that why you think people connect with you guys so much? Because of um, what you represent? Yeah, I mean, dude, I honestly have no idea. I mean, I wish I had a great answer for you, but I don't. I, di I didn't see it, you know what I mean? I was just there. I was living it, you know what I mean? I, didn't, I don't know what people's right. reactions were to it. I have no idea. I mean, clearly yeah. I look at Twitter and stuff. I mean, I don't look at that much Twitter, but I, I see the, the, the Zanky fans and, you know, I mean, it, they're, they're, they're awesome, but I, dude, like I didn't, if, if I were to see it on a show, if I were to see the show or watch the show or see a different season where it happened, I would have an answer for you, but I had no idea, dude. I was fucking right, with it right. the whole time. You know what? It's, it's kind of weird. Like I lived it. I saw it with my own eyes. You know what I mean? I literally saw it with my own eyes. So no, no, no. Oh. are there a. Uh... Is it is it possible is it possible to be a Zach fan and a Zanky fan, um, or can you be like 
either I mean, or, or does anything need to be defined? What? I said, I said, is it possible to be just a Zach fan or just a Zanky fan? Yeah, I think, right? I mean, if you're a fan of me and you're a fan of Zanky, then you're a fan of Zach and Zanky, right? Right, <laughs> right. Mean, you know, um, like, yeah, yeah. Want... Um, let's, let's talk a little bit about the other people uh, in the house. What okay. Can you give me some impressions? Um, but, you know, I don't want to go into, like, first impressions, right but mainly, what's that? You want impressions? You want me to do an impression? No, 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 no. I, I don't mean like I don't mean like do your best, Devin. We can do that later. Uh, I just meant like, what do you think about everybody now? Like, if let's if I throw the name Cody out to you, oh, what do you think of? My fucking boy. My fucking boy. I was I wish he was here right now. We could do our handshake. You know. Remember, remember when I did the handshake right. and I crossed in Amber's leg? How funny was that? That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> right. What about Jocasta? What about Jocasta? Fucking awesome. Jocasta's the fucking shit. I fucking love Jocasta. We got really close in the jury house. What about Derek? Dude, don't even get me started on Derek. I get chills every time I hear his name, dude. I fucking love that guy. Fucking love him. Derek, I'm calling you tomorrow. And Christine? Awesome. She played a great game. She Christine played an Did amazing they? game. She was really underrated, you know? She was really underrated. She she had a lot of BB knowledge that not many people did. She called every competition before it even happened. Not that that helps you in the game, but, like, she just was, like, she was on top of her shit. She played a great game. What about uh, Nicole? One word. Fruit Loop Dingus. And, yeah, that's one word. I made it one word just now. It can be three <laughs> words, but right now it's one word. Nicole, if you're watching, you are the biggest Fruit Loop Dingus I've ever met in my entire life. But, Nicole, I love that's you, Zach. Cool. She's great. You know, speaking of Nicole, how can we not talk about Hayden? Hayden is the fucking mayor. He's the mayor is there, of the town. Is there is there anyone you don't like, Zach? I feel I feel like you love everybody. I do love everyone. Everyone was everyone in the house was great, you know. Everyone, Devin, Amber, everyone was great. Everyone was great. I love everyone. Um, I think. I think I think the chat room I think the chat room really wants to see some impressions. So maybe okay, we're not going to do them all because uh, I, I want to keep this moving. But maybe g can you give me three impressions of other house guests? You can pick, and then we'll all guess. Okay. Okay. Welcome to the veto meeting. I, as head of household, has to put up new people for eviction. <laughs> Nicole. Nicole. Uh, ding! Good job. Okay, okay, one, All right. One for uh, one. One for one. Okay. 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 Uh. Zach, you're a fucking douche. You're a douche. Yo, anyone want bacon and rice? Yo, I just dropped a new single, Katoru. But Zach, you're a fucking douche, man. Pow, 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 pow. Pow, 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 pow. And then the last one, the last one, I'm not going to say anything, but try to get it. You ready? Okay, yes. <laughs> Christine, Christine, Christine. Actually, it was Joey. It was actually Joey. It was actually Joey. But oh. no one knows Joey. No one knows Joey because she wasn't even really on the show. You know what I mean? But she would always do this hilarious face. I think Joey is fucking funny as fuck. I fucking love Joey. But no, that was Joey. That was Joey. She always did that face. And I, okay. some, some, I, people, some people do, some people do. I wanted, I wanted to mimic Christine's laugh, but that laugh can't be produced on a Dr. Dre soundboard. I promise you. That fucking laugh is, is like no other, and it fucking haunts me in my fucking sleep. I swear to God. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, it's terrible, it's terrible. Uh -huh. So, so tell me, Zach, like, tell me what, what the plan is now, you know, like, obviously one of the most popular Big Brother players ever. Um, so, so what's life like? I said, I said, one of the most popular Big Brother players ever. Like, what's next? Like, what are you doing now? You think so? I do. Yes, I think wow. I think it's a well. I mean, Shit. you know, you, okay, so you and a uh, Cody and I are gonna crush a sweet life of Zach and Cody tour. So we're gonna crush that. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to do that. I'm actually flying to New York uh, in a couple weeks. Cody and I are going to kick off the tour in uh in Hoboken. No, it's not in Hoboken. Don't hold me to that. I don't know where it is, but it's it's in like New York or something. Um, but no, we're gonna we're gonna crush that. You know, I plan on doing a bunch of meet and greets. 
Um, I'm also actually, you know, funny you asked. I'm coming out with a YouTube channel. If you're watching, subscribe right motherfucking now. Or I'm going to unfollow you on Twitter. And if I don't follow you on Twitter, I'm still not going to follow you on Twitter. But, you know, I'm coming out with a YouTube <laughs> channel. It's going to be fucking hilarious. I've been working on it for fucking weeks. You know, I've been just been waiting on a good time to announce it. Um, it got leaked today, which is pretty fucking cool that it got leaked today. But, um, no, so I'm coming out with a YouTube channel. Uh, and it, the first video is dropping November third, so be ready for it. Can you can you give us a, can you give us a little sneak peek about what this first video is yeah, going to be yeah, like? Sure. You want a sneak peek? Yeah, sure. All right, the sneak peek goes like this. Here, I'm gonna pull it out of my pocket. You ready? Go fuck yourself. It's coming November third. Oh my god. Gosh. <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's take some questions. All right, I, I, I feel like I'm losing control. Okay, okay, let's take some questions. Um, All right, what's the question? Okay, wait, hang on. Okay, first one is from Susan. What's up, Susan? And Susan asks, uh, it's right at the top of your screen. Now that you have viewed some footage, do you understand why your relationship with Frankie means so much to so many people? I mean, what footage? I mean, I've watched, like, YouTube. I've watched, like, Zanky YouTube videos. I mean, now do I realize how much they mean? Yeah, I mean... I still don't even realize, you know what I mean? Like, I can say I realize, but do I actually realize? I don't think so, you know? I don't know how much it means to you guys. I really don't. But I, I love all the Zanky fans. I fucking love them. I fucking love Frankie. Like, what, what else is, you know, what do you want me to say? I fucking, yeah. And I don't, I don't realize how much it means to you. I don't. I wish I could. I wish I could put a, put a fucking value on it, but I, I have no idea. Um, how did you, uh, from Steph Nocha, how did you react to meeting Ariana and getting a pink hat from her? Did you see that she wanted you and Frankie to move in with her? She doesn't want me to move in with her. She does not want me to. Um, yeah, it was fucking cool, man, meeting Ariana Grande. It's funny because my brother, okay. Yo, Pete! Bring me water! Um, no, my brother loves, <laughs> my brother loves, uh, Ariana Grande. He, he, he watches Sam and Cat. Victorious, so it was it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool getting uh, what up, dude? Interview. Say what's up. What up? Um, yeah. but uh, <laughs> no, it was it, it was. What is this? What is this? Huh? What you got? You have people like bringing you water now? Yeah, he's my he's my intern. <laughs> he's my intern. Oh my god! He gets paid. Oh I actually paid him okay, twenty wait, bucks wait. the other day, breaking my fucking bank. Oh my god. Okay, what about okay from uh, Abram Reyes? Okay, what's up? Uh, what? Okay, what does it feel like knowing you had the backing of all the Big Brother alumni? What did it feel like knowing I had the backing of all the Big Brother alumni? Pretty cool. I guess you know. I mean, shit. That's that's fucking cool. You know. I don't know how to answer that. Uh, yeah, it's fucking cool that all the alumni like me. Now, you know, all I really cared about was what Doctor Will thought. You know. That's all I really cared about. Doctor Will likes me. My life's complete. Um, oh, this is this is actually a good question, Andrew. I actually meant to ask this and I forgot. How did you? This is actually a really good question. How do you feel about being the puppet for most of the? Don't get me started. For the Team America things, and you didn't you didn't get any of that money. That's actually a really good point. I totally forgot about this. How did yeah. it feel like learning about that? Uh, it was. I mean, okay, it was kind of weird because at first. At the finale, when they, like, told us about it, I was like, whoa, like, there's, how did I not know that that was going on? And as more and more people, because, like, everyone I talk to now brings up Big Brother, we talk about Big Brother, every single person says, dude, you got screwed by Team America. And, uh, it sucks, dude. <laughs> it sucks. I mean, shit. Like, I wish I was on Team America. Like, oh, I would have been good for Team America, man. I would have, I'm fucking sketched. I would kill that shit, but, um, it, I mean, shit, it sucks, man. Like, I was the puppet. They all picked on me, you know? Yo, Zach, dude, you should go off on Amber at the veto meeting, dude. That'd be fucking sick. Yeah, dude. You know, with, what else happened? I mean, uh, I don't even know, like, the fucking, I don't know. I, I, got mean, you know, I mean, I don't know. I, you know, I, I would where, be bitter if, like, they blame me for taking it. Where is my quarter? Cut me a check. Where's my quarter, Derek, Frankie, and Donnie, you Fruit Loop Bustas? Where's my fucking quarter? Put it in my pocket is, now. Is, Venmo is me the money now. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Losing control. Okay. Is there is there any part of you that feels bad? Um, you know, like that holds a grudge about them, like saying that you took people's stuff, and you know, or are you just like over it? I'm over it, dude. I've been over it, man. I, like, it, there's nothing I could do. You know, it. God. And when I think about it, when I think about talking to Frankie, like being in the moment of being like, dude, Frankie, dude, it's not me. And he's like, I know it's not you. And I'm like, who is it? Like. Who, who is it? And he's like, I don't know. And like thinking back, I'm like, fuck you, Frankie, man. You, you, you scoundrel. You played me like a chump. But uh, it's, it was all fun and games, you know? Hey, it made great TV. I was the puppet, you know? They should cut me a check, though. You know, maybe. I agree. Maybe buy me a Toyota Prius. I don't know. You know, hook me up somehow. <laughs> uh, from Karen, can you describe yourself in three words? Oh, 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 three words. Energetic. Fearless. He's putting thought into this. And, and Karen. Karen. <laughs> I like, I like. Because I like the, I like the I like the face. I, I like your face was also telling the word too. The face, okay. you know, you went like you went fearless. You went fearless, and then you went caring. <laughs> it was it, it's it's great, you know. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, we definitely have to get to this question on one second. Uh, ask Zach how Ashley and Samantha are doing. They're doing better. They're doing much better. They are. And this is probably a good time for us to throw this on here, too. Put that link up there. Donate. Go fund me. Yes. Backslash. There it is, right there. Ashley dash Samantha, please donate. And listen, I want to say something. I want to say right something. There. So when the other, like a week ago when I when I was selling, um, you know, follows for donations, um, I told people $10. You know, I realized, all right, that's, that's pretty low. Um, you know, there's a lot of people. You know, if, if you're if you're watching and you donated ten dollars and I did not follow you, I promise I still will follow you. It's just gonna take me some time. Um, there's so many people that donated a hundred dollars and fifty dollars. You know, there were some that donated a thousand dollars. I mean, I, I I sorted the list from highest donation to lowest, and I started off with the highest people. So I I followed back the people that donated fifty dollars or more. And uh, I'm gonna get around to you, ten dollars stragglers. You know, I know you have more than ten bucks to help out these two little girls. Um, I'll get to you. I'll follow you. Cause I'm gonna hold my promise. But um, no, that's how that went. And um, they're doing better. They're doing much better. Do you think? Um, do you think Zach that there is a difference between Zach and Zach Attack? Like even even now, I feel like we get shades of Zach Attack and then we get shades of Zach. Or are they the same guy? Is there a difference? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, Zach. I don't know because I'm even. I'm not just basing. I'm even basing this on our like pre-show like chats, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I think this guy is like this like 24/7. You know what? I know what the answer is. I'm always Zach Attack. I'm always mm. Zach Attack. Always, always. But Zach Attack is caring uh, too. Uh, not just not like Zach Attack isn't just the guy that like you know curses people out and is like mean and like speaks his mind all the time. And expresses his opinions and how he feels, wears his sleeves on his emotions. That's Zach Attack. But, you know, I'm also caring and I'm generous and I'm fun. And, you know, it's like, you know, I can, you know, I, I don't know. I'm always Zach Attack, though. You know, I was born Zach Attack. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite moment in the house? Oh, God, I hate this question. Uh, uh, okay. My favorite moment in the house was meeting... Rachel Vodka Cran. That was the, when Frankie did his impersonation of a Rachel Vodka Cran. I nearly shit my pants. I nearly shit my pants. Um, <laughs> but I, but also I I loved when Caleb and I fake fought in the HOH room. Gold. That was amazing. Uh, but uh, yeah, I I there were so you know there's so many moments and it went by so fast and you know it's hard to it's hard to remember everything that happened. I mean there were times where I was literally on the floor laughing. Uh, so I don't know. It would it would probably be it would probably be when um when Caleb and I staged a fake by nature. I think that was my favorite. That was great. 
Um, we have a we have a good question. Actually, man, a lot of people want this asked. So from Lisa Bunch, do you realize it was Derek's idea of booting you, and Frankie had no choice but to go along? Whoa. Do I have another source on that? Is that the only source I have, or what? Like, do you do you vouch? I don't know. There's, I mean, we, that, one was, that that question was rated pretty high. That was actually our top rated question. So. Um. Shit, dude. Um. I mean, no, I don't realize. This is the thing. This is just coming to my attention now that if that's the case, I mean, I guess it could be the case. I don't know. I no, I don't. I don't realize. I don't know if that's true. But to answer your question, no, I do not realize that it was Derek's idea to uh, backdoor me. Why would Derek backdoor me? Why? What did I do to him? Um, I don't. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm confused. Why? Honestly. Why? Why would? Why would anyone want to evict you, Zach? That's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Well, uh, here from. Okay, another one from Steph. I, I I like your questions. Okay, so here's another one. I know I've been talking a lot of game. I've been talking a lot of Frankie. So like, let's get let's get more into this like Zach rants. You know, Zach without the attack. What qualities do you look for in this girlfriend? You talk about wanting qualities and characteristics. Okay. Oh, in a girlfriend. Yes. What? You want to know what my type yes. is? Is that the question? All right. Yeah. I don't want to answer that. I don't have a type. I don't have a type. I like smart girls. I like girls that are smart. But I don't really have a type, I guess. I don't. I don't really date girls, though. But um, I, I don't and, and I don't smart, smart and funny. Smart and funny. That's all. I, that's all I really care about. Let's let's talk a little bit. We haven't talked about Victoria at all. I want to talk a little bit about Victoria. I mean, Why I was not down when she like shredded the hat. We're not talking about Victoria. Why do we waste our time talking about Victoria? Well, because I'm seeing you guys like partying together, and I'm like, oh, and so are you, is there a Zach Toria now? Like, like are you guys friends? Yeah, no, we're dating. I asked her to I asked her to marry me. She said no. It's the second uh, engagement proposal that she's turned down. So you know, good for you, Victoria. Golf clap. Good for you. Um. Yeah, we're dating. Uh, we've been dating for three months now. Um, we had a secret showman's in the house that none of you guys know about. Um, I love Victoria. And our wedding date is June 22nd, 2015. Everyone's invited. All the 13 million people that watch Big Brother, all my uh, Twitter followers and Instagram followers, you're all invited. The wedding in, uh, invitations and announcements are coming out next week. Uh, the choice of entree is between chicken and fish. So yeah, that's that's your question. That's <laughs> okay. There's no such fucking thing as Victoria, um, you fruit loop. What about okay? What about what about uh Pizzle Toria? Because I I know he's a big Victoria fan too. That photo with them is is pretty awesome. Oh, they're calling you out, bro. Um, shit, Pizzle Toria, that's hot. I like it. You know. Uh, <laughs> I knew. I knew I knew my brother Slade over here, but shit, Victoria, wow, making moves. Yo, fist bump. That that photo, that that photo, that photo of Pizzle and Victoria. I mean, I remember I had a smile. I had a smile that big when I met Eliza Dushku. It just like took me back to like when I met Eliza Dushku. You know, that guy is grinning from like ear to ear. <laughs> hey, he he is he's a huge fan of Big Brother. He. He's actually been watching, like, he actually watches Big Brother more than me. He's fucking 10 years old. That just shows you the demographic that, you know, CBS is putting out on primetime. But, um, he, uh, you know, he loves the show, and he's a huge fan of Donnie. He loved Donnie. He loved Nicole. He loved Frankie. And he loved Beast Mode Cowboys. When I was in the hotel, that's the day after finale, uh, my brother kept FaceTiming me, and I'm FaceTiming with my brother, because I haven't talked to him in, like, four months, and I get a knock on my hotel room door. And it's Beast Mode Cowboy. And so I, I turn the I turn the camera to like the back, so like it's facing forward. And Caleb walks in, and I show my brother Beast Mode Cowboy. Beast Mode Cowboy comes in yeah. with sunglasses. He's like Beast Mode. And my brother starts crying because he saw Caleb on Facetime. And so my brother loves the show. Uh, Pizzletoria, not real, but uh, that's I think that answers your question. Maybe? It what? does. It does. It does. I gotta. I, I really, 
Caleb, Caleb is an interesting guy too. I don't know if you saw that video with the appearance that those guys just made, like Cody, Derek, and uh, Caleb made that appearance Caleb in Texas. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like when Caleb? when when Cowboy when, when he walked out was the it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. C underscore BB16 is the funniest person on Instagram. He is fucking hilarious, Caleb. I love you to death. I really do. And I'm coming to visit you in Kentucky. And you're coming to visit me in Florida, and we're going to play some golf. We're going to have a great time. But, uh, no, Caleb is literally the funniest person in the world. And I love all his videos. They, they literally make me laugh on the floor. R-O-F, motherfucking L. Oh. oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, from Lana Liz, if you were to start your game over, would you still have tried to be a villain? Yes. Asked and answered. Uh, let's see. Man, we a lot of these we've already... We've already gone through. Okay, um, what about this? Can you give us a hint as to what your costume is going to be for the Grande Halloween party? Oh, my God. No, I need I need advice. I need advice. I have no idea. I was actually thinking about this day. Frankie and I were talking about what I should be, and we can't come up with anything good. Why don't, don't know. You, why don't you dress up as each other? As each other? Like, me go as Frankie and me go as Zack Attack? That's not a bad idea. I'll pitch it to him. I think he'll probably go for it. Like, who's that? at me like I just suggested like I have like seven eyes. I think it's a pretty good idea. I, no, I think it's a great idea. I really do. I didn't even think about that. Because we, yeah, that, that's a good idea. I, I'm going to talk to him. Should I call him right now? Should I get him on the phone? <laughs> I think, I think, I think people just like literally had a heart attack. I'm not even joking. No, I did. They, they really did. <laughs> I should, I, I, should uh, like okay. a, I should like a live stream of me talking to Frankie on the phone. You know? Yeah, it would, do, it it on that, do it on your YouTube channel. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea, Merz. You're the boss, man. There, there's, a, there's a reason I've been around for 14 years, dude. <laughs> Very that, Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, what is... Okay, wait, this is... Okay, I'll, okay one, more, one more zanky question. I had, to, I had to choose carefully here. It's right up there, Zach. Do you understand the importance of Zanke in the world now and what it means to LGBT and you? Yeah, no, I, I do I do realize that it means a lot to the to that community. Um that's great. I mean I'm I, I I wasn't even doing it on purpose, you know what I mean? I just fucking love the guy. I fucking love Frankie to death. I mean he's my fucking best friend. Um and I'm glad that I you know, that it worked out like that. It's perfect. Was I trying to do that? Was I trying to, you know, break a boundary that hasn't been broken? No. Did it happen? Yes. Am I proud of it? Uh, yeah. It's, it's great. It's great. I love it. I love it. Love it. Zach, what what do you think people will remember you for on Big Brother 16? Do you feel like it's going to be how entertaining you were, the Fruit Loop Dingus thing, the friendship with Frankie? Um, what, what, what do you think people at the end of the day will remember Zach on Big Brother 16 for? Thank you. I think wow, that, really? I think that I, yeah, I really do. I was going to say Fruit Loops. I was going to say Zach Attacks. No, it, they're going to, when they think of Zach, they, they think of Zanky. You know, that's what they're going to remember me for. They, you know, like a, just an amazing friendship that blossomed into, you know, us becoming borderline obsessed with each other. And uh, so, yeah, I think that's what I'll be remembered for, which I'm very proud of. You know what I mean? You know, it's like, of course. Is it, um, you know, I got, I got to tell you, I, I was not down when they did the thing to bring the jury member back. And I mean, obviously you were at a disadvantage because you had just left and all of a sudden, bam, Julie says, you know, you're in it to compete to come back in again. They do this like random shuffleboard thing. Can you talk a little bit about like what happened there and Nicole coming back and like how crushing was that for you uh, to not get to come back? Terrible, man. But you know what? Then again, like, if I would have went back into the house 20 minutes after being evicted, would anything have changed? No. You know what I mean? So, like, obviously I wish I would have went back in and gotten, you know, gotten a second life at freaking 500 grand. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know why that competition was so, like, random. You know what I mean? Like, whoever wants it the most, should, like, an endurance. I want an endurance comp. You know what I mean? I would have won. So. Yeah. Um, do you think that it's possible to be both a great Big Brother player and one that's entertaining? I mean, really, like, we've obviously seen it with, like, Will. We've obviously seen it with, like, Dan. 
are those two foreign concepts or is it possible to be both? Clearly it's possible because Dr. Will fucking nailed it. It's very possible. Mm -hmm. And and is that something you were going after, Zach? Is that what you wanted to do? Did you sort of want to like... I was trying to emulate Dr. Will's game. I was trying to mirror yeah. his life in Big Brother. Um, mm -hmm. I guess I didn't do enough studying and research on Dr. Will. But yeah, I mean, it, it is possible. You know, Dr. Will's... Dr. Will had me laughing every time he got in, uh, got on the screen, and he won easily, you know, <laughs> easily. He crushed the competition. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's possible, you know? That's what I was going for. Uh, I, know, I know you're a big favorite, not just for me, but, like, for a lot of alumni. Can you talk about some of the alumni that have reached out to you? Like, who's sort of, uh, who's impressed you, who's entertained you the most, like, from past Big Brother seasons that you've talked to? Dr. Will. Dr. Will. He actually called me... I, it was like two weeks ago, I think, or three weeks ago, I was fishing with my brother. Dr. Will calls me. I said, Peyton, I'm, I'm leaving. I, I need to take this phone call. This is literally the most important phone call of my entire life. And we talked for a good hour. He gave me a lot of great advice. And, uh, yeah, and like, I, you know, out of all the, you know, the past Big Brother alumni that, you know, have tweeted at me, have showed their support for Zach and whatnot, Dr. Will is clearly the one I'm fangirling over. Um, okay, okay. I will ask. Who are you taking to Germany, Zach? Jeez, put me on the spot, Mertz. God, who am I taking to Germany? Oh, I know. I mean, I don't want to. Little puppy tiger. Okay. Um, I do speak German, Zach. Uh, sorry, I'm not sorry. No fucking chance. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah, all these questions we've already asked. I mean, okay, do you want to... I wasn't... Okay, I wasn't going to originally ask this, but I'll ask it, you know. Let's just do it. We got Zach here. Um, and, uh, like, Zach, I know you have a, a garbage can at your house. Are there ever any ants on it? Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, there's fucking ants all over this fucking trash can, man! Nah, yeah, there are ants all... No, dude, the Big Brother house was infested with ants infested. It was disgusting. I don't know, like, they should have taken care of it. But, uh, you know, they didn't. It was infested, though, of ants. And there were, no, one time they were like, there was what? like a million on the trash can. There's literally a million ants on the trash can. How can you not point that out? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, what do you think, what do you think the people have the biggest misconception about Big Brother 16? What do you think that people just think that they know, but have it completely wrong? That's a hard question. What do they What do they think they know that they have no idea? Oh, how much, like, I mean, I feel like everyone already answers it like this, but there's so much downtime, you know? I changed my sleeping schedule to, you know, 14 to 16 hours a day because no, 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 come on, come on. This, is, this, is, this is the merch show. This is, this is the merch show, Zach. We're not going to get the downtime, like, we have nothing to do when we're so bored. Like, I want something of substance. Like, is there something that you feel like people have, you know, that people think that they know how things went and they were completely wrong. I mean, that, like, we all, like, really liked each other. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer. I'm sorry. I wish I, I, wish I had an fine. answer. I really don't. It, it, it's tough, you know? Um, and so, so tell me about, like, tell me about adjusting back to normal life. You know, like, it's kind of my dream to walk into, like, the mall or, like, a movie theater and all these girls, like, scream my name. Like, I remember I had, like, girls from, like, the MTV real world that are like, oh, my God, you're boys with Zach. Can you give them my number? And I'm really? like... Really? How come you didn't give me their right? number, Mert? You're hogging them all to yourself? Look, 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 look Zach, you, you have enough luck, okay? I, I'm, I'm just struggling to get by, okay? I'm just, I'm just happy that they're even, like, DMing me. <laughs> Forget about what they're at. <laughs> um, but... Okay, but but tell me, like, what what is that like? Like, what is it like going from relative anonymity to sort of, you know, having people scream your name? Very mind-boggling, you know? I'm, like, flabbergasted every time. I'm, I'm literally, like, in the gym, like, mid-freaking set, and, like, guys like, Yo, Zach Attack, bro, can I get a picture? I'm like, see me working out over here? No, but, um, you know, people, like, people, like, will see me in my car, and they'll, like, follow me, which is, like, fucking borderline creepy like stalker like like i need a freaking like get a restraining order on some people 
But um, it's weird. It is very weird, you know, because I was just some normal guy that lives in South Florida, and now I'm Zach Attack from BB16, and 13 million people saw my face three times a week on primetime CBS. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's life-changing for sure. In a good way. Do you, like, um, I like, I like do you, you can't complain. Do you ever get the, um, I, I always ask this question because I always find it amusing, but do you ever get the people when maybe you're like out with your family eating or something and then like somebody sort of sitting at a table near you and they yeah. kind of think it's you, but they don't have the guts to like come up and like say what's up. So they give you that. So can you, can you recreate, can you recreate the look that they give you before they like muster up the nerve to come and talk to you? Like what, what is the look? The best is like, I'm like sitting at my table, eating my, eating dinner with my family and the table like. Like kind of like over there is like just they're all turning around like this. <laughs> like, I see you staring at me. Like I I can see you staring at me. Like you know, it, it, it's 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 awkward. But um, yeah, that that's how it is. It's like they're all just like staring at me. Like I'm like hey man, hi. Man. Okay. So the best was like I'm literally like eating a bagel at the bagel place in my neighborhood and six high school girls i think it was like a late day or something they're all like in line and i was like all right for sure they're gonna recognize me like for sure right they will they go in line none of them recognize none of them saw me and they're paying and i was right by the register sitting down eating my cinnamon raisin bagel with cream cheese and they turn around one of the girls turns around she goes oh <gasps> And then all five of them, excuse me, all five of them went nuts. They went nuts. Oh, my God, Zach, Zach, can you please take a picture? Can we each get a picture with you? Selfie. Oh, my God, literally, I can't even. And I'm like, sure. Like, hi. They're like, no, the girl's like, the girl's like, sure. and this is my reaction. I'm like, hi. Hi, I see you. Hi. Like, oh, my God. You know, took pictures with them, yada, yada, yada. Go to school, you fruit loop. You know? You know, you know what's a, you know what's a funny story, Zach, which I, I actually don't even think you know, um, is the night, the night before, um, or it was, was it the night? It was the night of the finale, actually. Yes, it was the night of the finale, and we were at this party that Mike Boogie was throwing, and I yeah. remember when I was there, I was like, right? everybody was like, oh, you know, like Big Brother sixteen, Merce, like who are you excited to meet? And I'm like, look, I'm not here to have a good time, okay? I'm here on a mission. I'm here on a Merchant. I am getting a photo with Zach. This guy gets in here. I don't care who I have to, like, throw down, okay? I will get this photo. So it was so funny, okay? So you walk in, like, super late. You and your mom come in, okay? Yeah. And I'm it telling so you, it did not matter late. if you were, like, uh, yeah. I didn't know. It didn't matter if you were, like, Lawan. It didn't matter if you were, like, Ray. It didn't matter, like, which alumni you are. Everybody just, like, storms the door, Okay. And I'm telling you, Zach, you know, I may not, I may have dropped Jim in the 10th grade. I may never have been good at football, but I was elbowing and I was like throwing people down. I was like going through people's legs. Okay. And I got, I, don't, I, I wish, I wish we knew each other at that time because that photo is probably my favorite photo. Just because, I mean, if you had seen the number of injuries I caused to really? get that photo. Wow. Oh, it, it's. It was, it was, I mean, dude, I like, I like basically like kick some like 10 year old girl and I don't even feel bad. Really? Yikes, dude. Come on, Merce, dude. What? Dude, get it yeah. together, bro. I mean, yeah, am I, hey, you know, you know, my, de my, de my, you got my it. defense for this, you got your I do. And like my defense for this, Zach, you know, people, you know, afterwards, some like mom came up to me and she's like, Hey, how do you live with yourself? You know, my girl really wanted to meet Zach. And I go, let me tell you something. Am I ever going to see you again? No. Is that photo going to be on my desk for the rest of my life? Hell yeah, it is. Jeez, Mertz. You tell him, Mertz. You tell him, dude. Anyway, okay, sorry. sorry that, was, that, was, that was a little, that, I, I got a little too into it. Okay, so. Yeah, and one more story, Zach. Here, Mertz, one more right? story. This is a, this is a no sand girl zone, all right? Okay, 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 come on, you don't have to, like, you don't have to throw me under the bus, dude. My bad, my bad, you're um, my boy, you're my boy, you're my boy, you're my boy. Okay, 
one more one more story that I will share with you before we get back into the interview is people have always asked me like you know what did you what did you think about Frankie and I mean I you know I was a I was a hardcore Zach fan from like day one I told you even from the pre-show even from when I interviewed Robin when she like told me about what you know the new cast was going to be like and you know sort of when he turned on you I mean I took it I took it very personally I mean you know I was just like man you're trying to like you're, you're trying to get rid of my boy here but right. what I did like about Frankie is at the finale party that Rachel, Ryan, and I did, Frankie, I know you weren't there, Zach. I think you were hanging out with your family. But Frankie came up to me, and he was like, you know, I really appreciate you doing this party. And he was the only one, the only one who said that. And I was like, all right, this guy's a pretty stand-up dude. He is very stand-up. He is, dude, he's uh, freaking sweet. He's sweet, man. He is sweet, dude. I fucking love him. He's great. He's great. Yeah, he's a good guy. I mean... He, um, so, so Zach, tell me, like, you're starting a YouTube channel. Yes. Um, yes. I want to know a little bit more about, like, how do you, how do you plan on, like, using this platform that you have? Um, as far as my followers, you're talking? I mean, no, shit. I mean, just, you know, a lot of, what? I, I was just going to say, like, I mean, obviously there's a lot of people that are interested in what you have to say. So, so what do you want to say? What, oh, what do I want to say to all the people right now? Subscribe. No, I just no like in general. Okay. What? Well, wait. What are you doing? I'm just getting Tiger up here. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> it was like, man. All right. So, what are we talking about? Let me put on my glasses real quick. What's the okay. question? The quest. The question is: Now that you have this platform, now that you have this big following, what yeah. is your message? Like, what do you hope to accomplish? What are your like career plans? I don't. I don't know. I. I really have no idea. I mean, I, I have no idea. I want to, I don't know, man. I don't want to answer that question. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with my life, man. I don't know. Shit. Put me on Big Brothers All-Stars 2. That's what I want to do with my life. Put me on another freaking, put me on another season of Big Brother and I'll be happy. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Oh That's my what gosh. I want to do. Um, I'm on a Big Brothers <laughs> All-Stars, man. I deserve it. If I deserve something, what's up? Um, Big Brothers All Stars, and if I don't get that, Kellogg's, I know you're watching. Where's my free box of Fruit Loops for a year? I want that now. <laughs> Give it to me now. I want that more than I want to be verified on Twitter. That means a lot. That's saying a lot. Man, uh, yeah. Why? First of all, let. Why aren't you verified on Twitter? Why are Why are they being so like? Am I the, Am I the freaking CEO of Twitter? Do I sit on the board of directors of Twitter? No, I don't know how to answer that question. Why am I not verified on Twitter? I, I should be. There's like trillions of fake Ramsey pants accounts, Miss Ramsey pants. You know, like, come on, Twitter, sell me your fucking game, man. Zach, Zach, you're always like you're you. Whenever I ask a question like this, I feel like you're not understanding, like, that I'm being rhetorical, okay? I'm asking because I'm, like, supporting the fact that this should happen. And you're like, I don't know. I'm not Twitter, okay? Like, I, I feel like I feel like hey, you're gauged for, like, for my, for, for my I, rhetoric. Okay. Yes. I, I wasn't going to say anything, but this is, like, the third time, and I was like, okay, dude, I'm obviously being rhetorical, okay? okay my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Hey, hey. Okay. First timer over here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... Wait, first of all, um, I want to—I do want to get Zach Merch Show trending. Uh, so why don't we all tweet that right now? Should I uh, okay. should I tweet right now or what? Should I should I tweet like yo? Yes, let, let's follow. Let's Merch let's, Show. Let's 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 you know let's sort of like get this trending. Let's get this trending. So like I mean it was it was yeah maybe I should have tweeted it earlier on Mimi. I agree. I mean I'm busy. You know there's a lot going on here. Okay, one sec. So, I rarely take the, the tweeting break, but, okay. All right, get it, get it okay, trending, yeah. get it trending. Okay. Well, I mean, we've still got the big merch challenge coming up, and, like, I mean, if it's not trending at that point, I don't know. Wait, what's that? Beast mode? Beast mode? <laughs> Yo, say what up, bro. Wait, is that live? Yeah, this is, is live? This is beast mode. Beast mode? Oh, my God. Flexing. <laughs> oh my god, look at this shirt! Look! What's up, Mama so T? Good. And yo, Beast Mode Mama T, so where is my mama's sweet tea? I need my mama's sweet tea, please. 
Oh my god. What up, dude? I'm in an interview right now. What's going on? Yeah, you're on it right now. <laughs> we can't, we can't, we can't hear him, but, but we are seeing the gear. We are seeing that the gear is pretty awesome. Yeah, he's the man. He's the man. He's the man. Yo, what's good, bro? I'm in the middle of an interview right now. Can I hit you back up later? All right, peace out, bro. Hey, stay beast mode, all right? Yes, All right, I'm back. What's up? Oh my gosh. Uh... <laughs> What are you? Do you wear these glasses all the time, or are you just doing it to, you know, to sort of like fit the merch show mystique? Like, like oh, what's going is, on? This is my, uh, this is my GQ pose. Nice. So, um, what's it called? I just want everyone to know that I never put gel in my hair. I just want that to be thrown out there. Um, well, you just basically lost every gel sponsorship contract you could have ever gotten. They, did. they can just screw themselves. No one needs gel these days. Uh, Come on. It's all about healthy, natural, free flow and flow, baby. I'm actually thinking about growing it out again. I don't know if you saw my picture, but I had extremely long hair, kind of like Hayden, but like wavy. It was pretty gnarly. Think about growing it out again. What do you guys think? Hit me up on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Twitter, speaking of Twitter, I'm doing another Q&A soon, okay? I'm doing another Q&A soon. Get your questions ready. I don't want any shitty questions, okay? I want good questions. And and listen, I gotta tell you guys, I'm 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 a Twitter amateur. I don't know what I don't know how to use Twitter. So you know, I know that like my responses, like people didn't see and stuff. So I'm gonna do it right this time, okay? I'm gonna get my director of Twitter over here, my manager of my Twitter. He's not a real manager on my Twitter. He just gives me Twitter advice on like. How to actually like retweet and stuff? Cause dude, Twitter's hard. Twitter's confusing, man. I'm not into the social media game too deep, but uh, I'm gonna do a real Q and A. Get your questions ready. Uh, it's gonna be this week, I promise. Well, you did, you know, you did manage to throw the Ramsey fans out there. You know, I was just like, man, you know, this yeah. is Big Brother 16. I couldn't believe everybody wasn't doing that. Yeah, I mean, not everyone's as smart as me. <laughs> yeah, but you're saying that you're a Twitter newbie, but you still managed to get it out there. Well, it was mainly like, well, I mean, I was like, I wouldn't say big on Instagram, but I was like, you know, Instagram flexing, you know what I mean? So like, I was trying to get my freaking follower game up, you know, like being on Big Brother, your followers already like freaking increased by 500%. I mean, I was trying to really make it big. I was trying to like really capitalize shouting out my Twitter handle. And my my Instagram name, so I did that. You know, it's like it worked well into my to my poem. You know, roses are red, violets are blue. Mertz follows me on Instagram and Twitter, and you should too. Oh, look at that! Wow, yeah. right a off little, the uh, a little uh, shake shake Rancian. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah. okay, as as we're we're starting to like get to this like epic Mertz challenge. Um, but before oh. we get there, a quick reminder. Uh, Dude, what's it gonna be? What's the challenge? Let me guess. Okay. How many screw loops okay. I can eat in five minutes? Something like that. No. Okay. Well, we can't give it away, Zach. Um, oh, okay. Bye. Everybody, please get your Moots T-shirt. It was designed by Netta from Big Brother Canada. There it is. Bam! Oh, you can that get that right oh, up there. Buy that shirt. It's dope. Yo, can I get one? Yes. Yes. You. Well, we're hanging out soon, right? Oh, somebody's. Yeah. At, you are gonna come to Toronto, right? Oh, I was about to say I'm crushing Toronto. I'm crushing Toronto. All you Canadians out there. Hit me up on my celly. I'll be in your town oh next. My God. Oh, and Drizzy. Yo, Drizzy Drake, if you're watching right now, I'm going to be in your city. Holla at me. Uh, you know, OVO, we just, baby. We just, you know, we, we just found out, like, it, it was funny because, like, when I first talked to Zach about doing the show, I was like, oh, Zach goes, what are you doing right now? And I'm like, look, man, I'm, like, prepping. I got this, like, Degrassi video, like, that I'm posting. He's like, Degrassi, I love that show. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You like Degrassi, too? Yeah, I love Degrassi. Oh, my God. <laughs> look at that. Let me say it again. Say it again. You say it with such an American accent. I love it. I love Degrassi. <laughs> Is it Degrassi? Oh, no, no. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? This is one thing. This is one thing from the show that I learned. You ready? It's, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's very Canadian. Right? Yes. That's Canadian, right? Okay. Okay. That's very Canadian. That is very Canadian. Very Canadian. Uh, okay. 
Let's okay. Let's hammer through a couple more of these questions. Then we're gonna get to the the merch show uh, or the the merch challenge. Okay. Um, from Carl Wagner, what do you miss the most about Big Brother? What do you miss the least? Oh my uh, gosh. What I miss oh. the most about Big Brother. Uh, I miss competing in the competitions, man. Oteb is my boy. Oteb was sick. What do I miss the least? Being a have not. That shit sucks. That shit sucks. That is no joke. Do you think you can be a have not? No, 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 no. Sleeping in those beds. And around like 2 30, 3 a.m., they crank the AC. I'm talking like negative 30 degrees. It's like you're freaking Antarctica. You know what I mean? And on top of that, cold showers, dude. Listen, between you and me, because this isn't a live interview or it's not going to be broadcast or anything, between you and me, Mertz, <laughs> I didn't shower yes. for a whole week. Because cold showers, fuck that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Grimy. I know. Super grimy. But, hey, you're in the Big Brother house. I kind of, like, acted it up. I was like, oh, my God, this is so miserable. Like, what am I going to do? You know? To make people feel bad for me. Yada, yada, yada. But, yo, being a have-not, no joke. Miss that the least. That sucks. The worst week ever. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Did you find the clicker? Yes. And it, when, when you rank up the question, I'm definitely going to ask it. So this one, this one was the top-rated question again. Got it! <laughs> found it! I found the clicker! <laughs> uh, let's see. I think, I mean, Zach, is there anything you feel like we haven't, we haven't addressed? I mean, I feel like we went through, like, our, you know, we went through Zanky. We talked about your strategy coming in. Right. Um, is there anything you feel like you haven't, you haven't, like, addressed anything that you haven't talked about yet that you want to? Um, is there anything I want to talk about that we haven't talked about? I think we've covered pretty much all the subjects. I mean, uh, what do I want to say or too. talk about? Um, no, I want to say something. Uh, to everyone that's sending me fan mail, thank you very much. I love all you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. Um, you know, it takes me a long time to read through all of it because not only am I getting a lot, but all the letters you guys are writing are like 500 pages long. They're they're novels. They're novels. It's like I'm it's like I'm reading Game of Thrones again. You know, it's like the longest letters ever. And I do read them, but I'm super busy, and I'm gonna get back to all you guys. It's just it's really hard. You know what I mean? it's like there's so much of it. But thank you very much to everyone that's sending me fan mail. I really appreciate it. From my home to yours, to yours. I love you. Um, so, so Zach, um, I think, I think it's, it's about that time, you know, uh, well, what do you think? You, you, do you think it's, I think, I think it's time for the, for the Mertz challenge here. Oh, now, God. so what much is, hype. Now, for, for those of you that, challenge? I know we have a lot of first time, well, we have, a, okay, we have a lot of, we have a lot of first time viewers here. Um, so just to give you a little bit of background, uh, at the end of every interview, I like to do the Mertz challenge. Uh, it's something fun that we can do. It can be a talent that the guest has or something that they did on the show that they were on. Um, but obviously, for Zach's, I, I gave it a lot of thought. Um, and here's here's what I thought, Zach. What, what I want to do is, like, I want to address the question that I got the most. By far, since we have announced this interview, the one that like kept getting tweeted at me, the one that I kept getting emails about. And that is, you know, it, they all concern the status of your relationship with Frankie. And I think primarily what people wanted to know is which way does Zach swing? Wait, what, wait, say that one more time. Which way do I what? Which way, which way do you swing, Zach? Which way do you swing? Let's just go on the record, you know, let's just, let's just lay it out. Let's just answer what everybody wants to know. Which way do I, oh, 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 okay, okay. Which way do I swing? Yes. That is, that is, that is the challenge. That's the challenge? Yes, that is the question, because I want, I want to sort of like, I want to, I want to get this on the record, you know? I want to, I want to sort of like, I, that's what everybody wants to know. I think it's a good challenge. All right, which way do I swing? Okay, I'm going to, like, preface this a little bit, because it's kind of like a long explanation. Which way do I swing? Okay, going into the house, clearly I only swing one way, okay? Going into the house, I only swing one way. Um, But, you know, things change. You know, there's a lot of you know, ops 
obstacles that get in your way, if you will, for lack of a better word, I guess. Um, which way do I swing? I, okay, I swung one way, one way only, okay? Um, but, you know, things, things, things happen, things change. And um, so, you know, when I'm, when I'm playing, I usually swing righty this way, like that. But, you know, if there's a tree in the way, or if there's, like, an obstacle, I'll just, like, flip the club around, <laughs> go lefty, and I'll just swing like that. You know what I mean? Like that. Oh, so, I mean, I guess, I guess you could say I swing both ways. I, 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 guess, I guess so. I guess. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, well... Now, obviously, some people, some people might not have, you know, might not have gotten that. So I do have a secondary merch challenge. Oh, Zach, really? you will be the first person in merch show. You'll be the first person in merch show history to get a second challenge. Okay. Really? Wow. Props to me. Good shit, Zach. Attack. Are you? Are you? Are you ready for this? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, I know that like. You're a big Fruit Loop fan. You're a big Fruit Loop Dingus fan. I, I've seen you like, I've seen you tweeting to Kellogg. Yeah, Kellogg, um, dude. And I've even Kellogg. noticed. It's like that girl. So that I've, you I've noticed. You hit up and she never texts you back. So it's like, all right, you don't want to yeah, talk to me. I don't want to fucking talk to you. So, you know, like I'm done trying. You know, I've tried. I've tried. I, I, I put, I put all my cards on the table. You're either taking it or I'm walking away. You know, Kellogg's, I'm going to give you one more chance, man. I'm going to campaign. All I want is free Fruit Loops for a freaking year. No, I don't even want that. I, I just want to thank you. Thank me for promoting your cereal every single day on primetime television on the biggest network, the best network, CBS. You're the best. The best network on primetime. You know, it's like on television. Like, come on, CBS. Just tweet me a thank you. I'll be happy. We'll call it quits. Yada yada yada. You never have to talk to me again. Everything will be gravy and Zach at that point. Okay. So Zach, we gotta we gotta like get to the challenge. Are you ready? Does it have to do with Fruit Loops? Because uh, no, I do have Fruit Loops everywhere. Yes. Yeah, I see it. I see it right behind you. So I am interested in maybe giving you giving you the chance to you know let's say Kellogg calls you up and they say Zach. We want you to sort of be our spokesperson, okay? We want to be, we want you to be your pitch man uh, yeah. for Fruit Loops. Oh, I see where this is going. You could give us like a I little. See where this is going. Yeah, okay. I, I feel like we could do a little like a, a little Fruit Loop commercial, uh, starring Zach Rance. A little, a little Zach Attack Fruit Loop commercial. Okay, that's the challenge. Yes, you know, that is your challenge. Yes. Okay. The challenge is to to like do a Fruit Loops commercial. Is that that's what it is? That's it. Yes. If you're if you're up for it, if you're up for it, hey, I'm down. I'm, I, I mean, I got fruit loops right here. I got fruit loops right here. Yes. Right, okay. So yes. Okay. Okay. A fruit loops commercial. Kellogg. See it. Kellogg. I love you, Kellogg. There we right, go. Hold on. My my computer keeps locking down. I need to change my settings. All right. Here we go. All right. Fruit loops commercial. Here we go. Here we go. Wait. I'll count. I'll count you in. Okay. I'll count you in. Five, four, three, two. Take it. Okay. Milk. It's what's for breakfast. Ya dingus. Does that work? I mean, shit. You know? I'm all, I'll, okay. all right, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know. You gotta like pour it on your head. You gotta make me care. You gotta make me like want to buy. I think I feel like you gotta pour it on your head or something. You know? Dude, if you if no, okay, you not care, okay, if no, you care, I'm just, you pour fruit loops on my head. I'll, okay, here we go. Ready? Fruit loops. Oh my gosh. It's what's for breakfast. Yeah, dingus. Oh my god. Right? Is that good? Is that good? <laughs> okay, wait. wait. I, I, I love, wait, hang on, I just, somebody's told me that, like, Zach Merch Show is trending. I keep getting messages about it. I don't know, is it, somebody take a photo for me. What? Oh, wait, look, okay, cool. I, somebody just told me that Zach Merch Show is trending right now. Mmm. Mmm. Fruit Loops. <laughs> it's what's for breakfast. Oh, my God. You dingus. I like it, I like it. I like it. Oh my, okay, okay, we don't have to make it like, okay, it's, it's pretty. <laughs> I 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Go wow. I don't really know what to do. Okay. Zach, I think we're, you know. Like. <laughs> How's that? I, <laughs> I I don't really I don't really have a lot of words. <laughs> Good, you don't have to kill the whole. Are you gonna kill the whole box? I fucking love Fruit Loops. Oh my gosh! All right. What's next? <laughs> I I mean I'm what what do you want to talk? I I've asked everything I've asked everything I want to ask. So like. You know, what, what, is there anything you want to talk about before we, like, wrap this thing up? Subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Seriously, it's going to be fucking what's, hilarious. What's I promise you. And is it Rancy Pants as well? Is it Rancy Pants as well? The real Rancy Pants. What's the name? YouTube.com okay. backslash the real Rancy Pants. Um, it's in my bio, Twitter, and Instagram. Rhinestone Service Smith. I approve of Zach Rance's YouTube channel, and you should too. Oh my gosh! And how's your uh, how's your mom, Zach? We haven't talked about your mom yet. Ma, how are you? She said she's fine. She was she was very active. Ma! She was very active, Zach, while the show. Was Ma, I need more milk. Ma. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, bring me the fucking milk! Oh my god, you've got your, you've got your like brother delivering you water. You've got your mom like mm. bringing you milk. My brother I mean, this is isn't, my intern. you know, this is not delivering me water. My Zeus and my this fucking is... intern. Hmm. Yeah, intern, right? Okay, intern. Um, <laughs> what is he an intern for, Zach? Uh, Zach Grant's Enterprises. Okay. Um, okay, wait, let's get our, let's get our Twitters on here. Man, this was, uh, <laughs> this, this was quite an interview, Zach. Yeah, I'm doing my best. <laughs> uh, all right, so we had two, we had two challenges. Uh, we found out which way you swung. We did a little, like, Fruit Loop commercial. Uh, We've got the pink fun. hat on that was, now. That was fun, that was fun. <laughs> um, so, so what's next for you? I mean, I, I feel like, you know, I mean, obviously you've had a hard time concentrating knowing that we had the merch show tonight. So now that it's, like, just about over, where, where do you go from here? Oh, we're over? We're done? Uh, well, almost, almost. Oh. What's the question? What, what's next for you? Like, what, what's happening this week? What's happening this week? I don't know. Shit. Ma! What do I got on the schedule this week? I don't know. What I, I dude? What do, you, what do you want from me, Merch? I don't fucking know what I'm doing. I don't, I don't know, I like, golf, I, dude. I've been I've been playing golf nonstop, man. That's all I do. Okay. And what about? Uh, are you gonna see? Are you gonna see Frankie soon? Yeah, yeah, Frankie. Can't wait for your Halloween party, bro. I don't know what I should be yet. I think I'm gonna be you. Is that cool? Is that cool? I think I'm gonna be Frankie. Be See, that's my idea, though. No, that was official. my idea. It is official. I am being Frankie for Halloween. I'm dyeing my hair blonde, pink. Oh, I don't want to have to cut the hair, though. Oh. But I got to go all out, right? I feel like it, yes. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it. When is, that, when is that party? I have no idea. It's, like, soon. I don't know when it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, you want me to get Frankie on the phone right now? Not a chance. Um, no, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call. Yeah, you're, just... you're not invited. Oh I don't know why you okay. think you're invited. <laughs> you think you're invited, Merch? I never said that. Dude, what do you think you're gonna crash Frankie's party? Dude, get a not, life, I, bro. I, I made no... Get a life, dude. I made, I made Zach, I don't understand why you have to be so hurtful. Me hurtful, dude. Give me that lame ass shit. I, I ain't hurtful. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Let's wrap this thing up. Zach, man, I, I got to tell you, this, <laughs> this one was a tough one to control. <laughs> I mean, I had, a, I had a whole, like, thing of, okay, we're going to talk about this, and then we're going to talk about this, and then we're going to talk about yeah, this. Yeah, no, I don't follow the rules. And I feel like I lost I, I'll, I do I do whatever I want, man. You can have a guideline. Okay. You, can, you can do whatever you want. Put me in handcuffs. Tie me to the back of your car, and I'm still going to do whatever the hell I want. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, Zach, okay, do you want to... Do you want to give us a dance to close down? Okay, wait. Before we do this, everyone, please follow us on Twitter. They're yes. right up there. Follow, Rancy, follow me Mertz. and Mertz on Twitter right now. Log into Ye Tweet and follow Mertz. He's going to stick his balls in the house. Now, nah, follow us on Twitter. Awesome. Follow us on Twitter. Yes. It is what it is. Mertz is the boss. That rant is the boss, too. That doesn't yeah. rhyme, but fuck it, right? Yeah. Base. Wait, Zach Rass is a... No. Okay, forget it. Okay, Zach, uh, can we, can we like, dance to end things off here? Birds, dude, you're asking a lot, bro. You're asking a lot. You want, yeah. me, you want me to do this? You ask, I get two fucking challenges. I'm doing a Fruit Loops commercial. Now you want me to get up and dance? Well, it's your you lucky day, my friend. You don't have to. I will add you on Snapchat, and you'll see me dance. I, I mean, come on, dude. It's like, you want me to freaking... It's like I'm putting my dance on Napster, and everyone's just stealing it. You know what I mean? That shit costs money, dude. You want me to dance for free on your live show? What the Okay, just uh, who the fuck do you think you simple, are, dude? A simple, a, a simple I'm not, to I'm not in the mood to. A simple, I'm not in the mood to dance. A simple, I'm not in the mood to dance would suffice. No, no. I am in the mood to dance, but dude, it's like I give you an inch and you take a mile, bro. Two challenges, and now you want me to dance? You should now be you want me to dance? No, okay, okay, not okay, happening. You don't have to do. Not here. Not fine. today. Okay, not ever. Ever, fine. baby. Not ever. Fine. 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 Is it? Is, are we done? Are we done here? Dance. Peyton, run the, run the fucking bat! Run the fucking bat! Oh my gosh! Okay, Zach, I'm 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 ending it right now. No. Any any final words? Any final, final words? words? Final words. Final words. Yes, I have some final words for me fans. No, honestly, in all honesty, I gotta just keep saying. I'm fucking loving every second of this ride. It's, you know, it's not, it's not the destination. It's all about the journey. So I don't know where my destination leads. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm riding the journey. I'm riding it hot. Couldn't be more happy. I couldn't be more appreciative and grateful. For the opportunity I had to play Big Brother and, you know, to make something out of it. CBS, if you're watching, let me be on the next All-Stars. You won't regret it. If I'm not on the next All-Stars, you're really not smart. Uh, Kellogg's, please just thank me on Twitter or, like, send me an email, maybe. Like, I, I won't screenshot it or anything. Just a nice thank you would suffice. Um, to all the other Big Brother 16 cast members, you all suck. I hate every single one of you. Mertz, some things just don't change. You know what I mean? I get I, I, <laughs> I don't, I, I'm, I'm sort of taken aback. I don't really, it, it, this was definitely, I feel like, do you, do you think we broke the internet? Uh, I, I, I would hope so. I mean, I wouldn't hope so because right after the show, I'm posting something on Instagram. So, um, I really okay. hope that I didn't break the internet or my, at least my Wi-Fi connection, you know, I hope I didn't break that because that's pretty <laughs> important. How would I live without my cell phone, right? Like, shit, like, oh my God, sure. like I literally like can't even, you know what I mean? Like, what would I do without my cell phone? Like, how, like, am I supposed to go through English class, like, for fucking 55 minutes without Wi-Fi? Like, my mom, like, won't even drop me off at Starbucks so I could, like, just use their Wi-Fi. Like, like, FML, <laughs> you know? PTYL, Merck. Oh my gosh, all right, Zach. Zach, Zach, I'm Zach. I feel like we could go on forever. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure having you on the show. All right. Peace out, bro. Thanks for coming out. Uh, I have to end this. I hope you all. I hope you all. Enjoy it.
all in good fun. All in good fun. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all for coming out. Don't forget to donate to uh, yeah, Zach's please. charity, yeah, yeah, my charity. Donate, yes. please. Come on, it's for a good cause. It's for a great cause. This family is going to have to pay so much money in medical bills. You know, Just help them out. Change their life. You know, but, like The least you can do, a dollar, two dollars, anything, man. 50 cents. Anything can help. So please, please donate. GoFundMe.com backslash Samantha dash Ashley, or it might be the other way around. I, yeah, the other way around. Um, yeah, please, that'd be nice. Trying to help. Trying to awesome. Help. Zach, we're out. Thank you all so much. We will see you soon. Uh, Christine is next here on the Merch Show. Uh, I'll announce that show very soon. That. Hell yeah. It'll be a good tonight? Is that tonight? One. Thank you all. Thank you. Um, no. <laughs> after after this, man, I I, I can ba I barely have my voice, my friend. No, I need a couple of days, but soon. How's my Bieber face? Oh my gosh! All right, we're out of here. All right, peace out. I'm out. Bye, all. Thank you.